it's always a thing when you want to create a project and you don't have matching cardstock or the perfect colored alphabet that is why i absolutely must have all colors of inks um, i created this layout a while ago and i only decided to use pattern paper no cardstock and I knew that I could alter these wonderful lady patterned papers that I was using for my layout to match exactly to what I needed by using a huge variety of inks. Now, I'm just gonna show you here that I'm using some pigments, I'm using my all-purpose inks that I'm mixing, and they're all gonna be different colors of blue. Um, or different shades but they will all match perfectly to the project um, you can see there I'm matching it to my background oh, and just because I decided to paint <laughs> the whole piece um, although only the edges will be revealed here I'm using one of my all-time all-time ever ever favorite inks um, the Adirondacks I don't think they make them anymore um, but I treasure these I keep them like little gold nuggets um, there I was using my Versamagic and here I am simply using a Memento Lux it's all directly to the paper you can see there those four card stocks that I've got in the image they're all perfect next up I wanted to use the leftover ink and alter my title so I simply took a packet of bare grey chipboard chose the letters that I wanted to create my title with um, I didn't show it. Oh, here I'm showing it. Um, I apply some Tombow to my craft sheet, leave it to become repositionable or tacky, and then I can simply place my letters onto this so that they won't move when I am painting them vigorously because, you know, I don't do things gentle. So I would need a bit of an adhesive element to make the ink stick because I'm going to add some glitter to my chipboard and I've shown in the shot previously that you can use any adhesive that dries with a gloss clear finish obviously if you're going to use a matte adhesive you would lose the glitter the shine of the glitter and I'm using a couple of different colors of glitter here and you can see that I'm sprinkling it where I had the most ink left on my craft sheet and look at that, simply painting my alphabet letters. Um, I would recommend that you leave it to dry between coats. And then I had all this ink left and I decided to simply mist it with water, pick it up, press some technique cardstock into it, and I'll use it on another project. We play and learn. Mm -hmm. 